Hey guys, this is me Abhishek and this is my second Objective C video. In this I made a PowerPoint on what we'll be learning today. So the first thing we'll be learning is what is a variable. The second thing is Objective C integer data type. And lastly, how to make an, a math program with Objective C. So since now we know that, let's just go ahead and go into Xcode. Let's just create create new project, command line tool, foundation, choose. I'm going to save mine, video 2. So see where it says video2.m, that's where we're going to be putting our program as usual. That's what I told you last last video. So before we get started, let, I'm going to talk about what an integer is and what a variable is. So, an integer, it's just a whole number, positive or negative. So, any if you type in any whole number that's positive or negative, it's an integer. And the short the short word for integer is int. Like see right here, it says int, that's integer. Um, so, and a variable is, to, you need a variable to declare any type of data type. So, basically, for every single program, you're going to need a variable. So, keep that in mind. So, let's go ahead and create our first variable. Int. You need int so Objective-C can recognize this variable as an integer. And then, let's just type in num1 for number 1. Put, let's we need an assignment operator so it so we can assign num1 to something else I'll I'll tell you explain what it all means after I finish typing and then let's just assign it to 2 so put an equal sign 2 and then after the 2 put that semicolon so basically what this is doing the int means is telling objective C um here's here's a variable it's on integer it's a it's a whole number and then what num1 is doing is it's just taking the place of 2 so we're assigning num1 to 2 so any if we type in num1 in certain places in objective c codes it'll know that num1 is equal to 2 so it'll be like oh so i'm 2 i'm going to use 2 instead instead of num1 and then the equal sign is just an assignment operator we'll get into that a different video but not this one so We'll just stick with one one uh, variable for right now. So let's just go ahead and make an NS log statement. And then just put the at sign and the quotation. And let's type in percent %i is even. And then put the end quotes and then put a comma and type in num1. And then after the brackets, put that semicolon. So basically what this is doing is... It's an NS log statement, so everything in the code is what it's going to be printing. And then what percent %i does is it takes num, it, it's just saying, oh, I'm going to percent %i, so Objective-C knows I'm, I need to replace this with something which um, I should have in the, in the NS log statement code. So percent %i knows that it's looking for another variable to replace it with. So then it goes like, ah, num1 is here. I'm going to use num1 instead. And then num1 knows, instead of t putting num1, it's going to put 2. So that's what that's doing. So let's just go ahead and click build run. Save all. Let's just check if this succeeds. And there we go, it succeeded. Just go to run and then console. And then there we go. It says 2 is even. So that means it worked. So let's make this a little more, let's make a math addition program right here. So just delete the NS log statement and now we're going to create another variable. Just type in int again. Num2 equals, let's put it to 3, semicolon. This next, this next variable is going to be a little different than the last two. So type in int num3 equal to num1 plus plus num num2 so what and then put that semicolon what this is doing since in the ns log statement it can't do the 
math itself you have to make a different variable so it could do the math inside the variable and then inside the ns log statement so what this is basically doing is it's taking num1 plus sign addition sign and then taking num2 and adding them together since num1 it you you might be asking didn't you say that in, if you put in int that means objective c knows it's going to be um an integer but yeah it's still correct because num1 is equal to a uh, integer so it's still an int because num1 is equal to 2 so num1 is 2 and num2 is 3 so that's what why I did that so let's go ahead and create that ns log statement ns log oh yeah and also you can give as many spaces as you want it's just it doesn't really matter when when you run the program objective c will just take out all of the extra spaces and it'll just do it by itself so to to make it easier put spaces wherever you need them so like group them in code in like bun bundles if you need to that that's what i do it works for me so put the ns log statement at sign the quotes and let's type in percent i plus percent i is equal to percent i and then just put the end quotes and put a comma since we have three percent i's we have to give the ns log object um x code three variables so let's type in our first variable num1 we'll take the first percent i our second variable num2 comma and then our third variable num3 to take the last spot and then just after the brackets put that semicolon and click build and run i got succeeded console there we go two plus three equals five so it so it works with positive numbers. So let's just try a negative number. So see where we made the variables before the two. Just make put a minus sign. The I mean the negative sign. It's just a minus sign. So do put for both of them and just click build and run. Save all. Run console. There we go. Negative two plus a negative three equals negative five. So, I guess that's all for today, guys. I hope you liked my video, and please visit my blog, ubby.org. It should be at the bottom of the screen right now. Just visit that website, and see you later, guys.